This is Matthew Towery from World Baseball Network here at the second game series between the Miami Marlins and the Chicago Cubs. Tonight is Caribbean Series night with the two invitees making their mark in the Caribbean Series for early February of 2024 here at Lone Depot Park. To the right of me is the president of the Curacao Baseball Federation, Jedrick Magdalena. Jedrick, how does it feel to be here in Miami? Well, it's a great honor to be here in Miami right now. It's, it's our second year in a row participating, or it's going to be our second year in a row. So it's an honor to be here. It's also a great place. Uh, Miami is great. So it's all, all put together a great experience. And how does it feel now that you have the Rookie League, the Single A League, the Double A League in Curacao? What is just the bridge and the advice that all the coaching staffs throughout all those teams in Curacao give to the young players that can reach for the newly minted professional league starting in 2023-2024? Well, the idea is for it to be a bridge, you know, for, for us to connect the professional league to what we already have established for many years there on the island. So it's going to be a great uh, transition, for the, especially for the younger prospects, uh, where they will get a chance to, to play at an even higher level of what we have now. Also for it to be a showcase for players to get signed, either professionally or, or get scholarships, or for already signed players in the minor league to come back to the island and play on a professional level. So it's all going to be one big uh, thing of baseball where, where everybody gets to benefit out of it. And uh, what would you say about just, you know, last month in the World Baseball Classic, the Netherlands put up a good product of baseball, let alone. A lot of abbreviations came over from the Caribbean Series in 2024. Will that have any impact to just build the rosters for future Curacao national teams in the near future? Uh, yes, definitely. We had, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 10 to 12 guys that played in the Caribbean Series also playing in the Classics. Uh, we also have uh, some potential new prospects and players that are going to be part possibly of, of the 2024 uh, team. And it's all in line with what we want to achieve throughout the years. It's a 10-year it's a plan. We're already down to, to year number three, so we still have seven years to go of what we want to achieve. But it's all one big plan of getting Curacao on where it needs to be on an international level. Yeah, and I mean... Playing in the eight-team circuit a few months ago, and now it's going to be six teams. We don't know who's going to have the home stand of the nightcap. What does it mean for Curacao to be one of the six teams and let alone to still carry that performance with some of the key guys that you will have for the new Winter League season? Well, it's going to be a great experience. That's, that We already know that from, from, from this day on. Um, for us, being in Caracas has been a great experience learning and, and some things that we need to adjust to, to give a better performance for the next upcoming tournament. So I think for sure we're going to be a, a big contender for, for this upcoming tournament. Uh, the plan is definitely to come and win, take home the trophy. Uh, we will learn a lot from our past experiences. We have players who, who also are getting more experience, getting more playing time, playing at a higher level, all thanks to being part of of the previous team so uh, for 2024 it's definitely going to be something big being in miami we we know we're going to get a even bigger support we're going to be also a bridge for the caribbean series to get into the european market uh, since our connection with, with the netherlands so it's all going to be one big um, uh, step for us as an island and for the baseball on the island uh, to make progress towards what towards what we want to achieve in the upcoming years and in the next few months you'll have the central american and caribbean games in el salvador how will that be such a big scouting abbreviations for um just the incoming season with uh, curacao yeah it's going to be definitely one of the big uh, scouting opportunities uh we're, we're going to have part of the coaching staff also there uh being part of it so for the players especially it's going to be a big step uh, for them to show that they can play at a higher level of what we are used to uh, and for them to also get prepared at the higher level of competition. So uh, it's going to be a big stepping stone. It's going to be definitely the first step towards forming uh, the team for the for the Caribbean series. So definitely look out for us there. Uh, we're, we're also going to go there to, to get a gold medal. So it's all, as I, as I said before, it's all part of the big plan of what we have for Curacao. Well, yeah, there you have it. I mean, this is the second game of the three games set between the Miami Marlins and Chicago Cubs. The first time in early February that the Caribbean Series will be held 
at a Major League Baseball stadium. Curacao being one of the invitees outside of Nicaragua with the four Confederation members, Venezuela, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and Mexico. And yeah, this has been an amazing time frame on Caribbean Series Night with the press conference abbreviations and everything else. Without any ado, my name is Matthew Tallerini from World Baseball Network, here with the president of the Curacao Baseball Federation, Jedrick Magdalena.